Hey guys, this is Joshua at Terraforma369. I'd made another video about my uh, version of the atomic stove before, but I realized you really didn't get a good shot of the flame pattern, get a good idea of how the thing looks when it's uh, fired up without the pot stand and pot sitting on it. So here's an attempt to show you guys the flame pattern. First of all, you can see I build it in a similar fashion to a tinny and mini bowl design in that I put the primer wick around the base. It's got eight holes. Um, nice little flame pattern. I'm going to go ahead and prime it with a couple drops of denatured alcohol around the priming ring. That's all it really needs. And uh, got about three quarters of an ounce of denatured alcohol in it this time just so that we can see the flame pattern and still have plenty for a boil. Let me kill the room lights and back this out a little bit. Now it primes real hot, a little crazy, but once it settles down, um, the flame pattern is a very controlled one. It usually settles down right after the primer burns off. There you go. Now, I'm going to give you a better shot here of the jet patterns. This is on a lower setting. You see, this is what I'm experimenting with when it comes to the atomic. I think an atomic can be made adjustable. This is on the low setting. I'll do another video later on to show what the high setting flame pattern looks like and we'll see if there's any kind of a per perceivable difference. Um, on the low setting it can still boil water but it's more of a simmer setting at least theoretically speaking. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom back in here. Put the pot stand and the pot on there and then we'll see if we can't boil even on a low setting special pot stand I made just for this one really helps to focus that flame and there you go now this is about what we saw in the last video that I only had on the internet for maybe eight hours uh, as far as a flame pattern and as far as overall video the last video I made on this atomic almost this exact flame pattern and uh, boiled water fine then. We'll see if it does now. But you got a chance to see the flame pattern on low. I'll do another video later with the, f with the screw pulled all the way out. Well, nearly all the way out. Which I think will theoretically give a stronger flame pattern. See that center screw doesn't screw into a threaded grommet. Instead, what I used was a threaded aluminum spacer used for, like, screen doors. About an inch long one, and uh, theoretically it's going to conduct the heat through the screw, through the spacer, down into the fuel to, for, to vaporize more fuel, therefore causing a larger flame pattern. It's about a minute there. Um, although with the pot stand this low, I don't think it would make uh, that big of a difference because the flame pattern is pushed down onto the uh, the screw itself anyway. But I think if you used a larger pot stand like the type that I use with uh, my baking setup, that you could actually bake with an atomic. Who knows, maybe I'm crazy, but it's something worth experimenting with. Um, As you can see, I've also done the uh, built-in heat conductor uh, that I believe it's Mr. Bill Troop. Um, I can't remember the number of the troop, I apologize, but that uh, Mr. Bill Troop came up with. It's just an experiment to see whether or not it actually uh, conducts more heat see whether or not we get faster boil times overall. One thing I want to say guys by the way when it comes to any of the boil times that I have on any of my uh, with any of my stoves, you've got to remember that there are a lot of factors that can affect 
how fast your water is going to boil. Everything from breezes in the room, whether or not you have air conditioning going, what kind of climate you live in, what elevation you live at, never mind the temperature of the water as it comes out of your tap, never mind how hot the stove is. So just because something may boil a little bit faster for some people than others with the exact same stove doesn't mean it's necessarily bogus, it just means that your environment may be entirely different. Uh, that right there, by the way, is three minutes. Um, and I'm beginning to hear bo uh, bubbles coming up from the bottom here. We'll have to take a look at it here pretty soon. Um, it's not boiling yet, but... Anyway, there are a lot of factors that go into it. The height of your pot stand, whether or not you have a good t um, tight windscreen, uh, the type of pot you use, how much uh, water surface area there is compared to the amount of flame, how much flame is produced by the stove. Um, many factors go into how fast water boils. And I can't have a totally controlled environment, um, you know, for it every single time. So, you know, if it's not 100% purely scientifically sound, I'm not using uh, an, anything as far as a baseline outside of just trying to use, in general, half ounce of denatured alcohol. That's four minutes, by the way. Half ounce of denatured alcohol and cold tap water every time. Um, beyond that, I don't really have another control. So, I'm going to turn on the light here and we'll see what we have going on. I think I hear a nice rolling boil kicking. Let's see what we have. Oh, there's steam coming out. Ooh. I would call that a rolling boil. Yep. So that was roughly 4 minutes 20 seconds, maybe 4.30 total. Let's go ahead and take it off and check out the uh, flame pattern here. As you can see, the flame pattern looks more like it will when it's on the high setting, okay? You're going to notice that when I make my other video that the flame pattern is going to be this high, this strong. Um, that's because when the pot was sitting on top of that stand and the flame was all contained in because of the aluminum foil or on the sides that I use as a windscreen, it heated up that screw, sending the heat down through the aluminum threaded spacer, which acts as a catalyst, um, superheating the fuel vaporizing it, increasing flame size. Now, with a larger pot stand that has more air space under there, uh, the flame pattern tends to calm down when the unit itself isn't quite so superheated. As I'm sure you've been noticing so far after I've taken the pot off of it. Um, it's just theory, but I think it can be done. So anyway, that's my atomic stove on low, showing that it can still boil on a low setting in roughly 4 minutes 20 to 4 minutes 30. Um, I'm going to do another video on the high setting and just show you the high setting point blank from start to finish. See if there's any kind of a difference um, when it comes to boil time. And then I may do a baking video with the atomic on low just to see if it's theoretically possible without burning anything or vaporizing too much aluminum. Alright guys, well, this is Josh. Um, my wife Lindsay says hello. Um, we're at Terra Firma 369. Have a good day. Uh, be safe and peace.